Hey, I'm Christian Schiller. This video is sponsored by Document 360. What is Document 360? It is a knowledge-based platform built for growing companies. It's useful for help docs, FAQ docs, support docs, API docs, all the kind of documentation needs you might have. But in this video, I'm gonna look at a handful of the features that are useful for API docs. So first, let's browse around a bit, generate some traffic, try some API calls, do a few false API calls, put in some variables that don't work, uh, visit some pages that don't exist, browse around, look around, let's uh, rate some pages, give some some thumbs up, some thumbs down, leave some comments, that kind of thing, just to get a bit of uh, data to actually be able to look at in the analytics. And if we look around, you can see there's a few different sections to the analytics. There's geography, and of course you can organize by date and change the date window. Just make sure you're using the right workspace and more of that uh, later. Uh, we can look at performance, which covers things like the views, reads, and then dislikes and likes. Then you also have an admin log for what people have, have, uh, have, have done behind the scenes. So there's more of an admin log for for your team than actual users. The feedback is, goes into a bit more detail here, the positive versus negative, and the comment uh, on which page. There's a separate tool also available for managing feedback. So I'm just going to quickly return, generate a bit more feedback, some of which the person giving the feedback would actually like a response as well. Then if you look underneath content tools, you'll see the feedback manager tool. From here, you can see any current feedback, positive or negative, action it in a kind of board style interface. And then for those people who left an email address, you can actually reply to them with a status and if you've fixed the problem or not. Or of course, just thanking them for their feedback. Any broken links, so you can see some of the ones I triggered earlier versus the ones that are working. And there's an explicit section for page not found as well. And for most of these reports, you can export them as CSV. So you can load them up in a spreadsheet or another tool for further analysis. I mentioned earlier about making sure you are using the right version. And this is because for each version of the knowledge base or the API documentation, there is different analytics. So this is how you create a new version and you can set the path and the name and what the version is, whether it's a beta or public, etc. And so that new URL, that new path is then used to browse that version. And when you're back in the analytics, you can switch to the correct version from the toggle at the top and compare the analytics between those versions. And that was me taking a look at a handful of the API documentation related features for Document 360. Thank you very much to them for sponsoring the video. If you like some of what you saw, please check them out. The details are in the description. As always, you can subscribe or leave a comment below. And to find out more about me, look at chrischinchilla.com. Thank you very much for joining me and take care, everybody.